I try not to put too many things in my head. Yeah, sure. Just run, feel good, progress, finish strong. Six fifteen a.m. Thanks for having me out, Lewis. What Thank you, you for think? being here. <laughs> yeah, no, appreciate it. Uh, we've been chatting for a little while, trying to link up, and here we are. I know, finally. Yeah. So we've got nine weeks till CIM. Yep. And today you've got a long run. Let's uh, let's hear about it. Yeah. Uh, very simple. Thirty-three k. Where I'm gonna do eleven k between three fifty and four minutes. Mm -hmm. That's like six ten, six twenty mile, I think. Then eleven k between three thirty and three forty. Things like 540 mile, mm -hmm. and then 11k from 320, hopefully down a little bit. So I did this long run uh, two weeks ago in Kenya, and we averaged 530 the whole way. But I wanted to progress, and I wasn't able to. Gotcha. So the goal this time is to actually finish faster, okay. finish close to marathon pace or at marathon pace if possible. Okay. So I'm gonna take it a lot easier the first 20k. Yeah. So I can progress at the end. Yeah, sure. So this elevation is a little bit lower than what you did in Kenya as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're at 1,600 here, a mile high, and Kenya was 2,500. So yeah, that um, was a difference. But the road in Kenya is pretty good, so it, it helps you to run fast. And also, I had pacers, and that helps a lot. Yeah. Sure. I don't have pacers here, but it's fine. It's good. Okay. I'm gonna do the last 11k in the fastest loop that we have here in boulder that is celestial seasonings yeah so hopefully that will help i think people that have watched some videos will, will be familiar with that loop yeah there exactly. a, lot of, a lot of athletes <laughs> run around there yeah, it's like our track a yeah. 1k track it's about a mile from here i guess so, yeah uh, yeah so we're just gonna do loops around here the first you know the first part is gonna be easy so i might do a little bit of dirt okay and then go and get faster cool okay and you'll be solo the whole way yeah well yep. nate Kastner, uh, he's my photographer and also like an assistant coach. Mm -hmm. He's gonna join us because he's always with the water and the gels and stuff. So okay, cool. he will be with us. All right, let's get started. Let's do it. Sweet. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Don't fall. <laughs> so we're talking a little bit before about your PRs and how you probably haven't yet run a marathon that you are capable of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, after the Olympics, the goal was to qualify to Tokyo, mm -hmm. and that was like my one and only goal. And to do that, I had to run 210, 211 low. Yeah. So every marathon that I got in, I went out fast. Yeah. 65 low, 64 high, and I just couldn't handle that pace. And, you know, the last three, four marathons just did not go well. I either dropped out or went through the half in 65 and then ended up running like 218, 217 high. Right. So now I have a different perspective, a different view of it. I'm just gonna run progressive. If I run 213, 212 high, I'll be very happy because yeah. I'll be closer to the stand and I'll be a minute or two minutes from it and then I can go get it. I have time. Sure. So I have time on my side this time and yeah. I'm, I was so stressed, you know, all I care about was running 210, 211 and it just became like an obsession, yep. a bad obsession. Right. Now I see it different with different eyes. I'll be very happy with a PR. Yeah. With a good race. Which is 216? Yeah. Yeah. So my 6309 and 2830 in the 10K should give me at 213 at least. Yeah. Going right here. Okay. So you're quite a fan of uh, heading to Kenya for training camps. What do you like about Kenya and uh, when were you there last? Uh, so I was there a couple of weeks ago actually, yeah. but only for a, for a training camp for my athletes. Okay. So I didn't stay that long, but before that, we were there in March of this year. Yep. Stay there for three weeks, almost a month. Okay. And 
I mean, what's not to like it? Perfect place to train. Yeah. You're so focused on training. Especially for me when I'm here, I'm always working. But there, the internet is kind of bad, so yeah, yeah. you can't work that much. Yeah. Uh, I have pacers, I have a good group that trains with me. Yeah. They're all like 210, 62 guys. Mm -hmm. And they're like really happy to train with me. Yeah. So that helps a lot. And the roads are perfect for running. Yeah. They have dirt roads, but then also these long paved roads that are so good for long runs. So, such a good place to train. Yeah. The elevation is perfect. Just, everything is so good. The only thing is that it's super far away, at least for us yeah. here. But that's good if you're gonna run a marathon in Europe. You can go there, train there, get used to the the time zone, and then go up to Europe and race. Because sure. I've always had the problem of, I go to Europe or go to Germany to run, and then I have eight hours time change, yeah. and I'm struggling. Yeah. And when the race gets there, I haven't slept in like three days. Yeah, sure. So I think that's gonna be the new plan. Train in Kenya and then go up. Yep. And that's kind of also why I'm running CIM. I decided to finally run a marathon in the States <laughs> where I can be there in one hour, yeah. not change my time zone that much, yeah. and not have to travel for two days sure. or whatever. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Okay. So you got a uh, Kenya story? Yeah. <laughs> so the first time I went to Kenya, yeah. it was 2015. I was trying to qualify for Rio, and we went there. We literally had $200, and the idea was that we got there, and then we called the federation and tell them that we're in Kenya with no money, that they should help us. So a really bad plan, but it actually went pretty well, because we called, we told them we had no money. They yelled at us. They were like, that's so irresponsible. We're like, yep, that's it. And they sent us money right away. Okay. So we made it. Made it. But the first week sucked. Because we stayed like in a really humble hut. And I don't know, it was just so bad. I got malaria. I was sick for like a week. You got malaria? Yeah. It sucked. I guess the place that we stayed, it wasn't like, it didn't have mosquito nets. It didn't have anything. Didn't even have a toilet. Right. So I'm not used to it. Got really sick. I still ran a marathon. And in that time, the standard was 219. And I ran 219, okay. 17 okay. with malaria. Or like a couple of weeks after getting malaria. So it was still fine, but didn't hit the goal. Yeah. Okay. How far are we into the run? Uh, 6K. 6K. Yeah, averaging like 3.45, yeah. so a little bit. That's six minute miles. Yeah, a little bit faster than I'm supposed to, but it's good. good. What do you think the conditions are like this morning? Today? Yeah. It's beautiful. Perfect, it's like, what, like 55 degrees maybe? Yeah, I think it's, it's around 10 Celsius. Yeah, it's not windy. Yeah. And at this time, there's few cars on the road. It's perfect. I'm always very thankful for living here. I know, like people die to be here. And I call this place home. Yeah. So, I always try to be thankful about it. The winter's coming. <laughs> That's the only thing. I heard, you, I heard you're not a fan of the winter. I'm not. But it's cool. Yeah. Whenever winter comes, I leave. So, it's alright. But yeah, January, here it's so hard for training. Yeah. It's dark. It's super cold. It's icy everywhere. So... Just how you like it. <laughs> That's... That's the only thing I don't like about this place, but... Yeah. I mean... You can't have it all perfect, yeah. I guess. 
And then again, I just get my bags and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where will you go? Do you know yet? Uh, no, we went last year. We went to Claremont, Florida, oh, yeah. for like three months. Okay. Um, I've been to Colombia to escape the winter too. But I think next year is definitely gonna be Kenya. Okay. Because I want to run a spring marathon, and I want to be in Kenya training for it. So I don't have it all figured out yet, but that's probably the plan. The only problem is that we have a dog, so we can't leave for that long yeah. and just leave the dog behind, you know. Yeah. Can't take the dog to Kenya. <laughs> so. so Rick uh, Royas, who's your coach, did he set the paces specifically or is it more on effort today or how, uh, how are you taking it? Yeah, we actually sat last week and discussed the workout with paces okay. for this month. So yeah, because of the long run in Kenya two weeks ago, I was like, yeah, I ran 5.30s, felt pretty good, but then I wasn't able to progress at the end. Sure. So he's like, all right, this be a lot smarter this time. Start at 6, then 5.40s or so, so you can finish at 5.20 and faster the last 7 miles. So yeah, he gives me paces, and like I was telling you, he's very smart, very chill coach, so I'm very happy with him. Yeah, and now it's time to give him good results, you know? Yeah, yeah. But we have two half marathons and then a marathon in the next 10 weeks. So hopefully I can get some PRs or some good races. Yeah. I'm ready for it, but we'll see. Good run. Quick run. Quick stop. Yeah. Yeah. Give me my water. Hopefully last pee break. Just taking in water, or oh, there's a coloured fluid there. Uh, that's drip drop. Okay. <laughs> Fuck this! I don't like this. No. <laughs> and if you can put that yeah. in the back, I'm gonna need water after this. All right. Hopefully, no more stops. Sounds good. And I'm doing the long cabada loop that yeah. we always do, kind of thing. Perfect. Good. Yep. Ready? Let's go. We're at almost 10k, averaging like 345, I think. Okay. 340. So a little bit quick, but it's good. Yeah. Now I get into the 330s okay. for the next 10k. Okay. So, so we've got Nate here as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is Nate. He's like assistant coach, photographer, video guy, yeah. always helping me with all my runs and my social media. Okay. So, it's the magic behind Instagram. This is the magic behind Instagram. We're not used to the cold. Fingers not working. Okay, 3.30? Yeah, 3.30. Yeah. Feeling very comfortable, but I'm gonna 
keep it here uh, at least until half marathon yeah. and then I'll start progressing down yeah. but so far so good are you taking your heart rate at all? Wait, what? are you taking your heart rate? no nah, I don't yeah. I don't I try not to put too many things in my head yeah sure just run feel good progress finish strong I'll check the heart rate at the end but Right. So having Nate here with me, it's always a big help. Yeah. He works as an assistant coach, videos, pictures, and just social media for me is important because it's my job. Yeah. That's how I reach people, connect with them, and then maybe coach them. Yeah. So definitely a big help. And I know I don't want to be like, an Instagram runner, I've always been scared of that, but we're also in 2021 and social media is very important yeah, sure. in a business yeah. for an athlete. So, you know, you gotta find the balance between putting good content out there, but also focusing on my own running yeah. and not being too distracted by it, sure. which Everybody is very distracted by social media. Yeah. But again, it's 2021. <laughs> Just the way things work. Yeah. And it's important to have it. So now you've been out to Kenya? Yeah, we yeah. went back in that April for about a month. Yeah. And we're hoping to get back again next year in March. Kind of a training camp lead up to Dusseldorf. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was great to get to know the guys over there. We did a whole YouTube series on it and definitely want to revisit it. And yeah, I've watched, I've watched a lot of those episodes. They're, oh. they're really well done. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yeah, we'd love to tell more of those guys' stories, kind of some of the backstories and just get to know them a little bit more. There's so many stories to be told over there. Yeah. Getting in the 320s, I'm at 10 miles, 16K, okay. 327, the last 3Ks, so. Feeling good? Yeah. yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Like five more K, and then hopefully progress. Last quick 324. Yeah, 324. Okay. Getting a little excited, I gotta be patient. Yeah. That's what happened in Kenya a couple weeks ago. Okay. Got too excited at the beginning. And I was having a hard time. Maintaining the pace. Yeah, yeah or progressing. Progressing, sure. So I really wanna wait to half marathon yeah. to 
just start bringing it down. Yeah. Good to see him. Really nice guy. Yeah. Super talented. Much respect. Where are we at now? 18, 17? 18K. Yeah. 322 average pace. Okay. Uh, this is the downhill, so trying to enjoy it. As Lewis is coming up to the uh, half marathon, I thought I'd ask, what did you like most about Kenya? Uh, I would have to say the people there. By the end of that trip, we felt like family. We had new brothers. Uh, everyone was so kind to us, so welcoming. Uh, they just treated us like friends from the very beginning. So it was like a, an honor and a pleasure to work with them and hang with them every day. So we got really got to know them, and that was that was an amazing part of the journey. Okay. What do you think of the food? <laughs> We didn't eat too much food there. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, like I've done a lot of traveling and going to restaurants and experiencing cuisine is definitely one of my favorite parts, but there weren't many restaurants. It was also like mid COVID, so a lot of things were closed. So my wife, Anna, who was with us, she actually did most of our cooking. So go to markets and grab what we needed and just eat at home mostly. Right now, 21K, 322. Um, I'm gonna do like a mile up this hill and then time to run fast. Okay. What's the overall time going through? 115. 115. Yeah. So pretty chill. Yeah. Um, I mean, the first, the first 10K was pretty Yeah. Pretty nice. Like a warm up. Yeah. Um, Definitely trying to save my energy for a good last 10k. Yeah, K, 316, nice. starting to progress. Cool. 10k to go. Okay. Okay. Three levels. We're gonna go into the celestial wood. Yes. Should be 8k. Okay. Five off.
Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Working, but feeling good. Cool. Six to go? Yes. Actually, almost five. Okay. Because I split here. Yeah, I noticed that your kilometers weren't all of a sudden not yeah. lining up with mine. You split it. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to use the sure. K marks on the road. Yeah. Seven. Three oh eight, last K. Yep. Yep. It's even well.
Good night. Four hundred meters to the Three K. Oh. That was good. Yeah. I feel very comfortable at the end. Yeah. Running 307 to 309. Mm -hmm. uh, average 328 with the warm up. Yeah, that's it's always cool. messed up, but yeah. feel pretty good at the end. Yeah, yeah. I ran the last 10K at 211 marathon pace, which yeah. is the ultimate goal. Yeah. And feeling good. Whew. Okay, you could have kept going for a bit if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. I would say five more, okay. Yeah. Depending on how much you pay me. <laughs> if you pay me a lot, I'll go more. <laughs> but, yeah. Comfortable. The whole run was fun. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. My breathing was controlled. My arms were pretty controlled too. So, I will give it a A plus today. Awesome. Good job. Still nine weeks to go. Plenty of uh, long runs left. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I was trying to be so careful at the beginning. Like, no need to kill it. Yeah. Like, rip a super fast 33k long run. I was more about the last 10k being a 211 marathon effort, and that's what it was. Yeah. At altitude with 20k in the legs, felt pretty good. good so, yeah. Thank you for the company. Okay, well, it's great having it. you here, and thank you to Nate. Thanks, Nate. For Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> collaborating with me. Cool. Uh, Hopefully, we'll do another workout before CIM. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll be here, so you let me know. <laughs>